today brothers and sisters i want to give you a secret which uh, most people will never tell you uh, rich people will never tell you people who are successful will never tell you this secret and uh, if you understand it then your life will never be the same again and this secret is uh, one thing i want you to stop saving money stop saving money and start investing now there's a big difference between saving and investing poor people save their money while rich people invest their money have you ever talked to a rich person and you tell them please help me with 1000 shillings and he tells you bro i don't have money and you're like what do you mean you don't have money i can see you you have this you have this you must be having money come on and they tell you for sure i don't have money and you wonder is this guy lying is he pretending does he is it that he doesn't want to give it to me but in real sense he doesn't have the money he's invested the money now you see many people think that uh, the more you save your money the more you're going to be wealthy or you're going to be rich but that's not true actually saving money will only give you losses and so many losses first and foremost think about inflation the value of a thousand shillings for example back in the year 2004 or 2010 was very different from the value today of that same money if you went with a thousand shillings to a supermarket about 10 years ago and you say i want to buy some shopping you could buy some shopping probably for a whole week but right now if you go to a market with a thousand shillings uh the same picture same everything but my friends you're going to buy things for a day or maybe less or something what's really the problem it is some, something called inflation and uh if you do not understand what inflation is it basically means the money becomes valueless by time as the days are going on and it's not only in our country in kenya it's everywhere and uh, many people have been taught in school to save money, which has really not been true. And uh, you will know that saving does not help by looking at the amount or the, the number of people who, who are making a lot of money in the world today. It is basically investors and people who are doing businesses. Like, for example, when you look at uh, Kenya, in particular, according to statistics, the people in Kenya who earn 100,000 shillings and above, out of 50 plus million people, it's only 100,000 people. Those are the only people who earn 100K and above. Almost, um, I would say one, one point something percent. Those are the only people who make that money. Everybody else is below 100,000. And 75% uh, of Kenyans earn below 50,000 Kenyan shillings. And most of those people, they are basically employed. And most of them are savers. They love to save money. But every person who has come out from saving and decided to invest money, they have crossed that line. And they have woken up to another new reality of life. And even the Bible always kept on telling us that. Do you remember the parable of... Uh, the talents in the book of Matthew 25 uh, from verse 14 to 30 where in this parable we see a man gives his servant several uh, you know several coins amount of money which are called talents and uh, just before going on a journey and the two of the servants they invested the money and doubled it while the third servant simply buried his talent or his money in the ground and saved it <laughs> and the master praises the two who invested but rebuked the servant who did nothing with his money you see this verse basically shows us that uh, just storing money without investing it can lead to negative outcome because it brought no no value at the end of it all and uh, this is what most of the people do they think that by in by saving this money and saving this money and saving this money 10 years down the line uh, or maybe when i retire i'm going to have my nssf my nhif uh, give me the money i've saved it's all a poverty mentality it's all something which can never help you it's all a backward thinking my friend you better invest even if you invest in a 
in a fruit parlor maybe you just buy some fruits and 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 you get a container and start a business somewhere which you sell fruits here and there or maybe you invest in whatever thing there are so many things it doesn't have to be a lot of money or a huge investment it has to be just something which is according to your level and let me tell you all wealthy people today they all started from somewhere if you listen to most of the wealthy people giving their stories you will sit down and say for sure poverty has always been in my mind and that's why god has always told us you will know the truth and the truth shall set you free people do not know this truth and that's why they are still not set free and why does satan want people to keep on being poor why do you think satan wants people to stay poor it is because of one thing. The Bible says when the righteous are in power, the people flourish. But when the wicked are in power, the people frown and they have a lot of trouble. And what is Satan doing? He's empowering his own. And that's why you see corrupt people are the ones who are understanding this knowledge and they are coming up. But the people of God, they are busy trying to save. They have been lied to in schools. They have been lied to by groups. And these, you know, they call them... Uh, I, I, let me not even mention them, but there are groups always teaching people how to save, how to do these circles and all those other <laughs> nonsensical organizations trying to tell you, save, save, save. My friend, you keep on saving and you will see how poverty will strike unto you. You see, even a virtuous woman, the Bible always say, talks about the virtuous woman in the book of Proverbs 31 verse 16. It says that she considers a field and buys it. With the fruit of her hands, she plants a vineyard. What does this Bible say about this woman? It basically says that the virtuous woman in Proverbs 31, it is depicted as someone who makes investments. She doesn't just hold on to her resources, but she considers a field and buys it. And then she uses it to generate more wealth, more and more. And this is a clear example of productive investment as a way to create value. My friends, my brothers and sisters, it is about time you stopped saving money, but you started investing. Get that mentality out from your mind that one day some NHIF, some NSSF is going to sort me out. That one day some social fund, insurance fund of this and that is going to help me out. All those savings that you do, it is all a waste of time. The rich people will never tell you this secret. But today, you have known the truth. May that truth set you free.